Hi, I'm Jean-Michel Ménard. I'm professor in the Department of Physics at the University of Ottawa, and I'm the principal investigator of the Ultrafast Terahertz Lab. Our research group uses lasers and custom optical tools that we design here in the lab uh, to study materials. Uh, some of these materials are very new, very intriguing, such as superconductors, uh, two-dimensional materials, and semiconductor heterostructures. But we are also interested in materials that we know from our everyday life, such as polymers and uh, proteins or chemicals that uh, we find in the air. So this is the ultra-fast terahertz lab. And what I mean by terahertz is a region of light, such as infrared light or ultraviolet. Light is composed of uh, an oscillating electric and magnetic field. And visible light, the one that we see, is only a very small region of the full electromagnetic spectrum of light. So in our labs, we specialize in the generation and detection of terahertz light. It's a region that corresponds to roughly the far infrared and mid infrared part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Uh, but we call it terahertz because we can here resolve experimentally the oscillating electric field of that light, which has a frequency of 10 to the 12 hertz or one terahertz. So this region of light is very difficult to generate and detect. In our labs, we use an ultra-fast near-infrared laser generating very short bursts of light which have a duration of the order of the femtosecond, which is 10 to the minus 15 seconds. During this short time, the near-infrared light is very intense and a terahertz pulse can be generated and detected throughout a nonlinear optical process inside a semiconductor crystal. We use a technique called electro-optic sampling to monitor directly the oscillating electric field of the terahertz pulse, and this allows us to extract key information about the materials when the terahertz pulse is going through these materials, much more than you would get if you're only looking at the power of the light. Finally, using a terahertz pulse allows us to look at ultra-fast phenomena involving microscopic particles in materials. It's just like having a video camera with many, many frames per second. But in our case, the full video is sometimes less than a few picosecond duration. Terahertz is a fast-growing field of research and development. In condensed matter physics, it is used to help us understand how nature works. It also allows us to discover new types of materials and to investigate quantum phenomena on the ultra-fast timescale. Terahertz also has very special applications in the field of security and medical imaging because it's a non-invasive type of radiation that can pass through fabrics, ceramics, plastic, a lot of materials which are opaque to the visible region. Terahertz spectroscopy is also becoming more broadly used. Uh, this technique consists in lo at looking at the colors of an object, but not in the visible uh, region, but in the terahertz region. In pharmaceuticals, for example, these different colors can give you information about a medication, whether it contains its active ingredients or not. And also in the food industry, it can be used for quality control purposes, uh, to look, for example, for the presence of bacteria. We also work closely with Canadian industry, for example, to develop compact ultra-fast terahertz sources and detectors. Uh, we are also interested in uh, developing new types of components in the terahertz regions, such as terahertz filters. And we think that this will help these companies and for sure our group to uh, position ourselves as uh, world leaders in terahertz photonics.